Today, the NATO flag and the flags of 30 allies are at half-mast to honor Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. She was a strong supporter of transatlantic alliance, of our armed forces and our values. She knew and worked with all NATO Secretaries General since the founding of NATO. She visited NATO headquarters and hosted NATO leaders at Buckingham Palace. I will always remember her wisdom, her warmth, and her strong personal interest in transatlantic security. Our heartfelt condolences to King Charles III, the royal family, and the people of our allies, the United Kingdom and Canada. Thanks a lot, Thomas Kuchka. Thank you for my monitors uh, into Russian-occupied uh, territory. How do you explain that? Yeah, I'd like to join uh, Jens in taking a moment just to honor the truly extraordinary life of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Um, on her 21st birthday, then Princess Elizabeth committed to dedicating her life to serving the people of the Commonwealth. For more than 70 years, a period during which the United Kingdom and the world witnessed unprecedented change, the Queen did just that, while personifying a sense of stability and continuity in turbulent times. She was a powerful unif unifying force, a source of comfort and resilience to millions of people from all walks of life. On behalf of the United States, I extend our deepest condolences to our British friends, to the government of the United Kingdom, to the royal family. Yeah, I've got it. Cell's been good. Yeah. 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 Lincoln, um, we've seen this astonishing uh, move of Ukrainian forces. First, what we're seeing is that the counteroffensive that uh, Ukraine has put in place with strong assistance and backing from many other countries is now underway. It's early days, but it is demonstrably making real progress. It's focused uh, in the south, uh, around Kherson, uh, in that area, uh, but we're also seeing Ukraine not only hold the line in the Donbass uh, and in the northeast, but as you noted, uh, make a significant advance, uh, moving some 45 to 50 kilometers in one area past uh, what had been the existing uh, Russian line. I think it's too early to say uh, exactly where this will go, uh, when it will get there, and exactly where it will end up. But I think we can say that uh, Ukraine is proceeding in a very deliberate way, with a strong plan, and critically enabled by resources that many of us uh, are providing. Uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Uh, thank you. Thank you.